Hey guys, uh, seen a video this morning. Uh, someone posted it on our uh, Telegram channel, um, and it was John MacArthur. What he was describing was uh, two things that that people need when they're going to be going to college. But this translates over not just to college, but to the entire culture um, in my mind, and something I've been talking about for quite a while. Um, and what he mentioned is what somebody needs is conviction, and they need critical thinking. Um, I posted a response on that uh, this morning of a um, competency test that was taken for seniors at universities, and the competency rate for critical thinking is really low. And that's what the school system, though, my opinion, is what has been the goal of the school system for, you know, past 50 years or better, is to reduce focus on critical thinking and increase focus on regurgitating what somebody else tells you. That's a big part of why we're in the shape we're in. And many of us patriots have turned our head um, to the point where the consequences of it um, we're suffering from it right now the fact that we have people who can't challenge or are afraid to challenge teachers um, people out in their communities for fear of being called a name mainly so the point is that I'm going to revert back to here Try not to get all over the place with this because there's a lot, a lot that could be covered. But the fact that we as a culture have lost conviction, we've lost interest in our convictions. Convictions are based on principles. And something uh, that we have to focus on, if you're going to have a, a grounding we're fighting for something it has to be based on principles and conviction over those principles which ones you know early on uh, I've spoke about before is you know justice uh, liberty safety um, equal treatment for people you know equal concepts about people in society those are principles uh, small government uh, functioning that way that's a principle and that's where you come to the term we the people. When I say patriots or I say the word uh, the words we the people, I'm referring to people that are fighting for certain principles and want a smaller government. Um, that way people have that freedom to be individuals. You have, That's what the beauty of this country that we have um, and what people originally fought and died for to have is a country where the people in the country, people meaning smaller government and people with principles of safety, liberty, justice, can live. And the more critical thinking has been taken out of the picture and schools and other ideologies, other philosophies are brought into the picture and it's not being questioned. And if it is being questioned, the people are being shamed. So now we're stuck in a spot where Again, you, me, my kids, your kids, your grandkids, all of us are considered racists who are conservative, basically. I mean, if you wrapped it up in a nutshell, that's what it is. That's the mass information that's coming in right now. And it's all based around that. People wanting a culture shift. So over this time period where the left has taken and created a culture in their image, because you've squashed critical thinking skills, it's starting to show up to where they're at the spot right now that it belongs to them. True freedom, true liberties, safety, justice, all that sort of thing. If you just open your eyes for 10 minutes, you'll see it. It's right in front of us right now. And it's, 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 it's amazing the amount of, of people Go back to the critical thinking. People can get fired for their jobs for not getting vaccinated right now. And it's called misinformation if you give information that contradicts what one side is saying. 
So it's not called another uh, form of information or data. It's called misinformation. This is where your critical thinking skills have to come in. Is that really what that is? No, it's... There's conflict over what the data shows. Well, I think the data's clear, but the problem is we're not challenging it because one, the left has figured out to just name call, shame people into being quiet, or not even thinking for themselves. And now, since we don't think for ourselves, we've lost that desire to protect something because now we have nothing to protect. We don't have conviction because we're not focused on our principles. We don't even realize those principles are ours and they're consistent. They're consistent across the board and they're solid. And all it seeks is truth and freedom, justice and balance. That's all. Yet we're being labeled as possible domestic terrorists for challenging leftist ideas, for challenging uh, mandates that, that data shows, um, you know, there's some conflict in. Even the racial stuff, the data's ignored. I've mentioned that one before. So I'm going in hard on that one right now because that's where I think we've really missed it. Just like John MacArthur said. So my challenge to, to you guys, whoever's listening, are you going to be the person who in your home teaches critical thinking? We have so much access to information on the internet. You type in something like critical thinking skills or, or, or uh, consistency in thinking or errors in logic. You'll find all sorts of resources to use. So I'm saying for yourself, uh, for your kids, take time and show them those things because the entire country is going away from solid principles because we don't have critical thinking skills. We don't even realize we have a right to challenge people because we're not even thinking past what they say. We're only thinking about how they seem to feel about it. And that's a problem. Um, we've turned in, in, into a country, we've traded, I think, conviction for contradiction. We've traded conviction for contradiction and if we live in contradiction well what in the world do you have to fight for at that point except for just getting your way over whatever and we've seen people that'll do that but what's going to make a lasting change in a society that you want to live in what do you want that to look like um i certainly don't want it to look like what the left is pushing um it's it's got to the point where we have so many groups i mentioned this earlier in this video we have so many small groups around that are patriot groups. And there's competition between and among those groups over, you know, minuscule things. There's, there's so many looking to build small empires, uh, you know, of, of their own. And it misses the point of what a We the People movement is. What is a grassroots movement? I try to mention this about the Watchman group. I call it a group because it's a group of people. But it's a movement. Watchman is an action. It's an activity. It's a task. It's not a formal uh, group or organization. And there's been too many people who's gotten into the Watchman movement and thought they were going to build an empire out of it. Small groups of people is good for certain small tasks. But what we're facing in our country right now requires masses of people to challenge what's happening. Masses of people. And what we should be doing, instead of competing with each other over who's going to have this information, who's going to have that, is to share information with each other. Share ideas, suggestions. Um, post things in certain places where people know how to join together to, uh, you know, either protest something or sign a petition. Um, it, it's not that complicated. The problem has been that we, we operate in these little isolated isolated groups. I love the idea of an independent group, but if it's not interdependent where we use each other, it loses so much power. It loses so much potential at that point. And, we, and it seems like we've, we've kept going that way way too long. Um, so my hope is all the groups around that are watchman by task a watchman means i'm looking at what's going on in my society 
I'm going to warn my neighbor what's going on. I'm going to give my neighbor resources maybe of what they could start doing. Even something as simple as me saying, hey, look on the internet um, under critical thinking skills. You'll find some little short, you know, uh, tutorials on what that means. Maybe some uh, tools to where you know how to challenge something or at least say, hey, shouldn't we be looking at two sides of this? Do we only look at one side? You know, if you're going to really find out the truth of something, you have to look at more than one side of it. So that kind of thing. Um, people should, should be getting into whatever their passion is. Go, go into that and do that. We, we've gotten so many people in different patriot groups to say, well, this patriot group has to operate like this. This patriot group has to operate like that. I realize you, you can have guidelines, and it's good to good to have a bit of structure, at least so you have, you know, know who can help with what. So many of them have turned into, you know, leadership competition thing or idea competition. You know, we share some common things. All of us do. And if it's not welcoming to the masses around us who have the same concerns, who have the same desires for their communities, if it's not welcoming, then we're losing out. I've had to state this before, even in small group situations, when it's too narrow, you, you lose being able to have influence with other people as well as getting what other people can give to whatever group or area or, or thing you're doing. It's just it's disheartening. I mean, and, I, and I've watched it a bunch. I know this probably is confusing to some of you. It's like, what are you talking about? Well, the Watchman group itself, meant to be small neighborhood groups in its origin, you know, to protect, but, but all inclusive for uh, civic engagement stuff. It's just people hadn't hadn't known where to, to go in to, to function that way where you know something as simple as writing letters uh, to, to people in your government or going to school board meetings, writing a speech for a school board meeting, challenging things that are a problem in your community, writing letters to colleges. You don't have to be elegant in your writing to make a statement and say you know this is unfair and this is why. You know if you can't describe why something is unfair then you also really need to take a look into the critical thinking. Build some of those skills. It's it's simple. It just takes time to do it. And pay attention, you know, to, to what people are saying. Uh, pay attention to what they're trying to do. Um, we've gotten too interested in, again, I think, the who. People, people get into that notion of we've got to follow a person or a person has to have this or that. That's the, that's the who. The interest gets, gets swamped into that. Where it really should be on the what. We should be following principles that we all share. That we're trying to get put in place. Or that we're trying to fight for. Because if we follow a person. Or we're worried about a person having a certain position. Or got to have this, or this guy or that guy or this, this woman or, or that woman. In the a position you start worrying about the personalities and whether you're catering to that person or not what's important here and if we don't get a shift in our thinking about what's important it's the principles that we're fighting for your true conviction is going to come from revisiting the principles that the country's founded on that you have for yourself and for your neighbor um, that kind of thing has to be the center, the mission. And right now, big government is starting to take over. Big tech, a censoring media, they're trying to create all of us in their image, and they know that we are the kind of people to stand in their way if we end up finding that conviction. That's why they're zeroing in so hard on people like us, because in history, We've been the kind of people, we have been the kind of people that prevent what they're trying to do right now. Because we do have conviction, but we've turned our head way too long. And we, we've, uh, 
you know, I think most of it has been to try to allow other people to, you know, live as well and do their thing. I've mentioned this before, but that's not what they're doing. They're doing a power grab. Instead of shared power, shared where we live, uh, shared influence, um, it's power grab. And I think all of you guys can see that that's starting to come to a head. Um, you look at other countries right now, there are people rising up um, that have been pushed over the limit. And it's not about do I care about whether somebody's safe or not. If the statistics showed something was this way, then I would pay attention to that and follow it. But I happen to look at re real data and make decisions based off of that. Um, just like with the racial thing, statistics don't show what's being talked about and what's being promoted. If it did, I wouldn't be standing up against it. I mean, that would be contradicting. A contradiction is not a principle that I would fight for. I fight for consistency. And I'm going to follow what information tells me, information from more than one side. Um, I've bounced around in this, I know, uh, 16 minutes. I was trying to keep this short, just, just to encourage people, individuals, and, and groups alike, especially groups, and those, those of you who are Watchmen individuals or who have your own groups within Watchmen, to remember that that name, what that is, it's a task. Um, you know, it, it's not a group that's trying to take over another group or anything like that. It's, you know, and there's, there's not a hierarchy in it just trying to tell everybody what to do. And that is, we're so used to having people in some kind of leadership spot that's directing everybody what to do, telling everybody how they got to do it. This is so broad, what we're working at in this country. It involves all of us across the board. And we each have to play a role in it. So the quicker that we get to playing our roles, doing what we have a passion for doing, stop competing with each other, and realize there's an enemy, there's a real competitor on the other side. And if our energy would go at competing with the real competition based on our convictions because when you see your conviction you're going to start fighting at the enemy and you're going to realize the people within this movement people who are patriots are not your enemy we're teammates so when your conviction comes into principle instead of people or instead of authority positions when that becomes your conviction, when you care about what the country looks like, when you care about what, how your people is going to be treated from now on, how you're going to be treated, what you own or what you don't own, who's going to be in control of that, when you care about those things, we, we will join as a force going toward the real competition. And there's people already doing that, already involved in it. I mean, I'm not saying people are not doing things, so please don't take me wrong with that. I think people are doing lots of things, lots of great things. Some people train uh, self-defense. Some people go to school board meetings. Some people provide information to other people about uh, when events happen or petitions that can be signed. Some people encourage other people. Some people give you information that will help you grow as an individual and a community. We all play those roles, and there's so many different roles to fill. What your strength is and your passion is, get into that and do it and help your neighbor with it of we the people groups, we the people tasks. Anybody who is literally watching out for what's happening in this country are watchmen. Anybody who is warning their neighbor their watchmen. Everybody plays different roles. And, you know, you may have some, some organized group that's got its own name. We all share what we do, a task. So I hope that we can get involved in that. Um, I got censored from lots of places because I tend to throw stuff out there that, that does encourage, tries to encourage unity among different types of groups. 
and so so right now one that i really or two that i can kind of function on though i do have the telegram now we at least have a, a what, I, what i've called a national it's a news information and resource channel um there on telegram and a chat that goes along with it so anybody can comment on that but the go whole goal of that thing is not to have some group of people following me the point of that thing is an information hub a suggestion hub a, hey here's what i can be doing hub type of thing um anybody who knows very good resources should be sharing those with other people information hoarders uh stump growth um people who are so isolated that they won't join in with their neighbor and help each other are stumping growth i, I hate to break this to some of you guys but five or ten people in one spot that are isolated has no chance against what's coming and what's already happened um do you have to have an organization to be taken seriously i think if half of the country goes ahead and stands up under their own conviction about some of the crap that's going on right now and are willing to take that at least a portion are willing to take that to uh the links that if it had to go to that that's what's going to make an impact um the left's been doing it over, like I said, over the past 50 years. It's slowly happened. Now we don't realize how far we've came. We don't realize how far, how much has been taken. Um, hit the freaking brakes on it. It's time to hit the freaking brakes on it. And stand up for what you believe in. Your convictions, but you got to first reflect on those and think about what they are. Talk to you guys soon.